All right, here's Photoshop. Uh, what we had? CS3. All right, what you want to do is grab an image from the net. I'm going to go to Google right now on my right screen. Uh, we'll find an image there, and uh, I'll import it here to Photoshop. All right, on Google, if you type in a flag on Google Images, uh, the fifth image in is the flag I used originally, and I am might as well just use that same one again, whatever, keep things going. Uh, it's called, it's called Flag. Here, let me bring it on screen so you know what I'm talking about. This one right here. Click on that. All right, I'm gonna right click and oh come on! Like I said, Camtasia slows everything down for me. Okay, uh, John's flag. We'll call it a. Uh, Flag underscore original JPEG. I like this flag because it's dirty looking, by the way. That's why I grabbed this one. All right, so back into Photoshop, Control O, or you go to File, Open. I'm a key. Or a shortcut geek. Uh, we saved it in the flag. I find the right image. All right, here it is. Now what we want to do is make it look a little look a little ripped. Uh, it's already it's, it's pretty tattered already. It's beat up. We don't need to do that. See, we don't even, I'm not even going to, like, we could fix this top. See where it's uh, blacked out up here? We could fix that. I'm not going to. Okay, what I'm going to do is double click the layer, unlock it. And if you hold shift and hit tab, you can hide that away. And then just hover over the right side of your screen to bring it back up. I usually do that. Okay. So we just, um, wherever you want it torn, you know what I mean? You just draw your little uh, lasso tool, you make your marquees. Hold down shift so you can get that little plus sign. You don't want that right there. That'll be a floating piece of flag, and who needs that? All right, so we have that. <clears throat> excuse me, we have that selected. We'll just delete. Control D, deselect. Also, here's a fun little thing for you. Like, uh, if you ever hate seeing these uh, dotted line, the moving dotted line, the marching ants, as I was told to call it in college, you love it. If you ever just want to get rid of them, you can um, hit Control H. That hides the extras. You can also find that in view, uh, extras right here, control plus H, it hides it. Okay, uh, I'm not going to handle any of that. So what I do is, um, 
I'm going to create a new layer, drag it underneath, shift F5, foreground color, which is black right here, yes, that's okay, hit enter, and now we see where our tears are, okay, looking good, maybe something like this, you want to uh, go gray for the background, All right, now also uh, I'm going to select layer zero, flag, BG, background, and I'm going to use the magic wand. Make sure it's at zero tolerance. You click in the empty holes. All right. <clears throat> And control shift inverse selection, which means now we have the flag, only the portions of the flag selected. Mm, or you know what? Control Z, undo that. And we'll go to select. Oh, what is it? Modify, expand, five pixels. Okay, this is saved from last time I did it. We'll do a. Uh, six pixels you see what we have now is um, it's just the outer parts of this is grabbed it's like right on the edge of each hole so um, we can wear and tear that a little bit you know uh, that's why there's holes that's why it's shredded up select you want to refine edge See, this would be the hard line. This is exactly what we have selected. What you want to do is you want to feather that. And what I usually do is, uh, I don't know, you can burn it. I mean, you could do a bunch of stuff. Again, you should do whatever creatively you like to do. I'm just going to burn it a little bit. Uh, exposure. I will keep it at a hundred. It's not gonna look so bad, uh, because we're gonna desaturate everything anyway. Not totally desaturate, but enough. All right, Control D. That deselects everything. Uh, all right. Layer. Image. Adjustments. Hue. Saturation. Turn the saturation down. That's good. Get it really beat up looking. Again, I'm going to select these things. Remember, hold down shift so you can get more than one. See on my little my little icon? Like when you hold shift, you get that plus sign. Make sure you do that. Again, we'll go to uh, modify. Expand. Six. Okay. Refine edge. Okay. Now hue and saturation again. And remember, it's only doing these outside portions. <clears throat> Looks about right. And deselect. <clears throat> Damn it, we're out of time again. Shit. So, uh, all right. We'll do the uh, quick little second piece to the Photoshop part uh, when, I'm, when we get back. I'll see you the next.